Hello and welcome to our Fax Family Portal training. Today I'll be able to walk you through how to access information as a parent or a student to be able to get to financial information, schedules, classes, homework, and grades for your student. So this is the first place that we're going to start. This is our uh, Fax landing page, faxmgt.com. And we'll start here. We'll come over here to Family Login. You'll see two links here, one for the Family Portal Login and one for Payment Plans. You're able to jump right into Payment Plans if you wanna see that, or we'll a we're able to get to it through the Family Portal. So we're gonna click into the Family Portal. This should look pretty familiar to you. If you haven't logged in yet, I'll give you those instructions here in a minute. But our district code is always going to be CON-IN. Please remember that you'll need that every time that you log in. Your username will stay consistent and your password will be what you set up. If you ever get logged out, locked out of the system, it should only last 10 minutes, but if you ever have problems, you can contact us in the school office or email info at clhscadets.com. If this is your first time logging in as a parent, please click create new family portal account. Use this link to set up your account based on the email that we have on file for you. So this would be the email where you're getting all of the communications that we have been sending out this year. If you don't know that or don't have that yet, again, please contact us in the school office and we'll get that for you or email that same email address. If you are a student and haven't logged in yet, please use the, use the forgot username and password. Your username is gonna be that first part of your email. So it's your graduation year, the first initial of your first name and your last name. So. As an example, it could be 25S Jones. That would be your username, and then you would set up your password. For students, make sure you click the student button. Parents, same thing. Make sure you're clicked on that parent button. So I'm gonna go ahead and click into our family portal and show you this first page. This is the schedule. So you'll see um, there's a lot of different links. This is the landing page where you're gonna land. And there's different boxes. We have our announcement page. So this is just announcements that we'll put out throughout the year, and these will be posted here. You have just kind of a dashboard of different things coming up. You'll have your calendar. If you wanna dig into the calendar a little bit more, click over here to the calendar. What this does is it shows you the breakdown of different days. You, have, you get to know what's an A day, a B day, C day, D day when we have e-learning days coming up or events like our freshman or retreat, uh, you're able to see parent nights or um, when some uh, quarters begin and end. All that information is here on that calendar. Also, you're able to click in, see different resources that are in here as parents. Like I said, when I was in here for the student, you have a lot of things that you can click into here. You'll be able to see schedules for your students, medical information, attendance. I wanna show you this, this is homework. You'll be able to see a list of all of the homework coming up for your student. So these are the due dates for information that is coming up. And then you'll also be able to see grades. So these are not real grades for the student, just so you know, this is fake information that's set up. But just so you know how this will break down, you'll be able to see that there is the overall grade, how many points were gained, and then also for any kind of bonus or penalties. So in this case, we put in a fake grade here that it was late, so she got five points off, and a note here that's late, that it was late by one, one day. So you'll be able to see that breakdown. And then also in the parent view, you'll have a little button down here that says finances, and you'll be able to click into that to see what kind of payment plan you have set up, be able to make payments or invoices on anything that's coming up like graduation fees or other incidental bills as they come up. Please feel free to ask any questions as we go along and we pr appreciate your participation.